ಹಾಯ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಎಲ್ರೂ ಹೇಗಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಶೋರ್ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ತುಂಬ 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 ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಗೈಸ್ ಇವತ್ತು ತುಂಬಾ ಎಕ್ಸೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಡೇ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಇವತ್ತು ನಾನು ನನ್ನ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಡೊಮೆಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಸೋಲೋ ಟ್ರಿಪ್ನ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಟಿಕ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟಾರಿಕಲ್ ಲೊಕೇಶನ್ ನನಗೆ ತುಂಬ ತುಂಬ ದಿಸದಿಂದ ತುಂಬ ವರ್ಷಗಳಿಂದನೇ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ದಟ್ ನಾನು ಕಾಯ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಈ ಜಾಗಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನನ್ ಅದರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಂಪಿ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಎಕ್ಸೈಟೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಯಾಟರ್ಡೆ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಮೈ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೋಲೋ ಟ್ರಿಪ್ ಟು ಹಂಪಿ which is something that i've been planning for years now so this is also going to my my going to be my first uh travel vlog uh which i'm going to start uh, with the domestic travel from karnataka uh because i've done a lot of international travel but um at that time i was not having my own youtube channel so now i thought okay if i'm starting let me start with our country my state um and um it can't be better than humpy for sure so let's do it guys come along with me on this beautiful journey to humpy so guys nanu humpy ge hek travel martidini gotta nanu sumar varshagala nantara train alli travel martidini bahala bahala khushi aagta ide ishtu jana station alli nodi i'm so excited hagine avaga idu majestic railway station ivaga idu kranti vira sangoli rayana station well Comfort has always been my first priority. That's when I booked a first class AC with the preference mentioned while booking as coupe or coupe. So if you are lucky enough and there are no MLA or VIP reservations, this is your compartment. This coupe or coupe has two berths. So if you are lucky enough and the other person is not coming in, then the entire compartment is all yours and you can enjoy this peaceful completely private coupe for your own self as you can see the luck has been on my side so in the entire compartment was mine i had a peaceful sleep and now i have arrived at the hospete station my journey from bangalore to hospete has taken me 8 hours now from here i have to figure out how can i reach my hotel and i have booked this hotel right in the center of the city called maligi Maligi is one of the 3 to 4 stars hotels which has a clean neat environment and it's not the very today's a modern kind of hotel however i'm a budget traveler hence i went on the booking.com and immediately i saw that this hotel had around 4.5 rating and had very good reviews from the customers and the pictures looked quite pleasant and i hope and wish that when i reach there i am not disappointed Anyways, guys, I took an auto ride from the railway station to the hotel and uh, the local people told me that it's around 2 kilometers from the railway station and it's going to take me hardly like 10 minutes to reach. However, I'm enjoying this ride. See you at the hotel. So here I am at the hotel Maligi. Now let's check in and relax for some time and then I will take you on to my first day itinerary. and you're going to have a good time stay tuned and be with me guys well not bad the interior of the hotel looks quite pleasant and yes i must mention guys it is a budget friendly hotel you should go for it guys how are you all doing i'm sure you all are doing good okay so you all know i am in the most historic place humpy this has always been one of my dreams and in the bucket list that i have to visit humpy so today here i am and i have a 3 day itinerary that i have planned i just have 3 days and 3 days i have to cover a lot of places the first one would be uh, ane gudi because ane gudi is a place where uh, there is a lot of temples and then you have a, a a place where hanuman was born so you have to go over there uh, but there's a lot of uh, climbing that you're supposed to do but apart from that the second day plan would be for badami um, patatkal and hai hore so uh, that would be my second day plan and the third day plan would be uh, for um, hampi complete hampi i mean whatever is the places that you're supposed to visit in hampi supposed to do that so 
so here I am now going towards Anegundi. So follow me. Just live the journey that I am doing. So you will have a great, great time. See you there. I am going to show you a lot of places. Guys, my bad. I forgot to mention. I am on a three-day trip to Hampi. So at the Malivi Hotel, I am staying for three nights and four days. And this costed me around 7k, which was quite reasonable, I believe. However, I checked out the rooms and the rooms are quite clean. The AC is working. Considering the heat in Hampi, guys, you have to definitely take an AC room. There is no two way for it. Based on the number of days that you are staying, Hamsa Travels will curate your entire itinerary. Well, I am staying for 3 days. Also, I must mention, the driver of this car was quite knowledgeable. He was like my personal guide and actually took me through the entire journey of Hampi and explained to me the entire history of how, what and when things happened. So guys, now I want to just sit back and relax this entire drive while we reach Anegundi. From there, I'm going to show you the different places that I'm going to visit. Well guys, outside the temperature is around 30 degrees, which is not a friendly weather for Bangladeshians like me. I would suggest if you're going out or stepping out of the car, please carry hat, sunglasses, so that you can protect yourself from this deadly heat, which is really, really, really hot. Also, do not forget to wear your sunscreen and I made a mistake somehow I forgot to wear the sunscreen today which I definitely don't do because even at home whenever I'm in the house also I wear sunscreen and I don't know how I forgot anyways I'm gonna go back to the hotel and for the next two days definitely I'm gonna wear my sunscreen okay guys so we have arrived at Pampa Sarovara now I'm climbing the stairs so that I can see the Pampa Sarovara from top view. So let's get going. So guys, I'm super super hungry. I'm at this very local uh, restaurant which serves vegetarian meal and I love vegetarian thali which looks like this, my favorite and along with it I'm also eating some chicken it's chicken 65 because I'm craving for some protein okay however I am directly skipping to the lunch reason being guys I went to Anjanadri Hills where Umanji that is Anjanavara Jannastara so it's his birthplace and to climb that you have to at least climb 572 steps and plus you have to walk within the temple out there which was very very tiring and guys that is the reason why I was so tired walking all by myself and I could not shoot any video I'm very sorry about it but however um, if you are planning to go to Anjanadri Hills I would suggest that you go empty stomach Try to do this before lunch or after lunch. Um, during lunch time, if you're going, it's not the right thing to do because you might have nausea. You might not be able to climb the stairs with your stomach full. So this is my suggestion that please do it before lunch or after lunch. Now I am here at this beautiful place called the Sunset Point. At the entrance, you will find a beautiful temple. I think uh, only the drivers with these um, travel agencies would know where to take you in the evenings because by 5 o'clock, all the temples that you're supposed to visit will close. So post 5 o'clock, if you're planning to do anything, you must come to the Sunset Point. If you are going through any travels, please ask them to take you to this beautiful Beautiful place. The sunset point is right behind this temple. You have to walk towards it. It's like a mountain. I'm sure since it's a mountain, it's going to be really breezy and the view of the sun setting, it's going to be amazing and regenerating. I'm sure you all are waiting for it, given for the fact that today the entire day was really hot. I was in the sun, climbing Anjanadri Hill, walking around all these temples it was really not easy, I must say. But for sure, this sunset point is going to really energize me and keep me at a very peaceful state of mind. Let's walk towards it and enjoy the view. Come along with me guys.